This is how to get into good standing posture, which is the foundation for so many movements. So let's begin. So the first thing you want to do is take the crown of your head right here and push it to the ceiling. In doing so, it will naturally elongate the spine. So I think that's the most important thing. All right, often what I see people try and do is they lift their chin up. And if you lift your chin up, what happens is your ribs will flare and you'll actually overextend or overarch your lower back. So we don't, we definitely don't want to be lifting up the chin. In fact, what you can think about doing instead is lift up either on your ponytail, if you have one, or your imaginary mullet. Okay, that's what I do. And so as I pull up on my imaginary mullet, that will naturally lengthen my neck and it will actually cause my chin to tuck slightly downward. All right, and again, now the crown of my head is really being pushed to the ceiling or to the sky. All right, so that's number one. Elongate the spine, push the crown of the head to the ceiling as your chin tucks down slightly and you pull up on your imaginary mullet. It's that simple. All right, that's number one. Number two is anchor down the ribs. So often people like to go into the sway back posture or they'll puff up like this. In either case, my ribs are flaring upwards. So by simply anchoring down the ribs, you can see now how that pulls my shoulder above my hip and it puts me in good alignment. And that's really done through a little bit of an abdominal contraction. All right, number two, anchor down the ribs. Number three is a slight posterior pelvic tilt. Okay, so what is a posterior pelvic tilt? It sounds very medical. Let's go over it. So posterior is just a big, words for ba big word for backwards. So here I am, backward tilting, or posteriorly tilting my pelvis. So if you look at my pant line here, you can see how I'm rolling it slightly backwards. And that's done through an abdominal contraction. To do that motion, what you wanna think about doing is draw the pubic bone right about where your belt buckle would be up and in towards the belly button, all right? We never wanna go so far that we actually cause a crunch motion. That's not a good thing, but we go so far that we keep the natural curve in our spine. You can see there I have my natural curve in my spine, but it helps me engage my core properly. Now this can be very difficult for people to do. So if it's hard for you, believe me, you're not alone. So a little way where you can work on it to help like learn how to go through that motion is lean up against the wall like I am right now. My feet are out in front. I have my shoes on so my feet don't slip. My knees are slightly bent. And what I'll do is I'll just flatten my back to the wall by rolling my pelvis backwards. If you look at my pant line here or my belt buckle, you can see how I draw that uh, belt or my pubic bone right there up and in towards the belly button. Now my lower back is completely flat against the wall. All right. So that's a great way to learn how to do that motion. And this is important because often, again, people try and get upright and erect by overarching the lower back. If we can lock out the lower back, then we can learn how to move through the upper back. All right, and that's very important. Really, that's a lot of good posture, is just learning how to lock out your lower back in place and learn how to get upright and erect through your upper back. All right, lastly is the position of your shoulders, okay? So often we'll see people in this position where they take their shoulders and they roll them forward like this, okay? So you can be up nice and tall like I am right now, but if I roll my shoulders forward here, you can see I'm still not in great posture. So to put your shoulders in the correct position, take the tips of your elbows here and point them backwards, okay? That's not me doing this. I'm just taking my, uh, really the tips of my elbows there and just rolling them back. All right, if you watch me from behind, here I'm in you know, good posture, except my shoulders are rolled forward, and I'm just gonna roll them into place. And that mostly points my thumbs forward. All right, so that's how you get into good posture. So let's go over all four steps one more time quickly. Push the crown of the head to the ceiling. Keep the ribs anchored down. Draw the pubic bone up and into the belly button. Tips of the elbows point backwards. And that should do it, folks. That's how you get in good posture.